stupid in YouTube. We're going to go ahead and talk about the main problem. You know what I'm saying? With people today, we're going to talk about growth. All right? See, what's wrong, why people don't grow these days? Because, you know, life is real comfortable. You know, you're supposed to be uncomfortable. You know, that's just like back in the days. You know, it's so easy now to do some shit. Back in the days, you used to, like, knock door to door to start a business. That's back in the day. Now, you got social media. Back in the days, you got to go to the gym and find a trainer. Now, you got social media. You got YouTube. You got Google. The internet is applying so much pressure, it's making people lazy so they can't apply pressure. Everything is getting easy now because people ain't got time. See, people doing so much bullshit that they ain't got time to do some real shit. People, you know, they like the people stepping evolving closer to the future. That's what it is. And really, in the future, the more time go by, the more comfortable shit is going to be. The more lazier people are going to be. But it's more comfortable it is, but people still ain't going to do the fucking work. Because the more comfortable shit get, the more easier shit get, the more lazier people get. Because everything is just like spoon-fed to them. And if it's spoon-fed, then you don't appreciate shit. That's why when people get shit so fast, they lose it so fast. That's why shit don't last. The harder you work for it, the more it's going to stick. The longer it's going to stick. The harder it's going to stick. The harder the grind. I mean, the longer you're going to stand strong. The long, the harder the grind, shit, the longer the shine. That's how I look at it. And it really ain't about being shine. This is like the more success. The more you put in this world, the more you put in is, the more, is what you're going to get out. I'm telling you now. The more you give to this world is the more, the more you put in is the, what you're going to get out of it. You only get what you receive it. I mean, God damn, what did I say? <laughs> no, you only get what you give. You know what I'm saying? You only get what you give. The more hard work you do, the more you're going to reap the fruits of your life. Simple. It's just like that. And that's why people are not getting nowhere because they're not doing anything. You have to constantly push yourself over and over again. That's growth. You can't just make shit. You got to live uncomfortably. You have to. I ain't never met a person that I never met a successful person that, you know, got it easy. Even drug dealers had to go out and get in the streets. Ain't shit easy. They had to duck and dodge police and shit. They say it's fast, man. It's easy, one. Bullshit. They got to do some shit, too. Everybody, I don't care who you is. You had to struggle to get there. And if you didn't have to struggle, you're going to lose it. you guaranteed to lose it. If you get it fast, you're going to lose it fast. That's why it takes so long. Growth is supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to be. It has to be uncomfortable. It has to hurt. It has to be tiresome. It got to be worse. It got to be a pain in the ass. That's what's going to teach you this shit. Because if it don't be a pain in the ass, you ain't going to learn nothing from it. If you don't learn nothing from it, you, you can't go nowhere. It's just like muscle soreness. You can't go nowhere. You ain't going to be... You can't you can't grow if it don't if you don't apply pressure. If you don't apply, apply anxiety, stress. If you don't apply that to your body, it don't grow. You don't lose weight or none of that shit. It's the same thing. Life is all about growth. I mean, that's how I look at it. You gotta be uncomfortable. If you're not uncomfortable, everything's just, I mean who the fuck wants to sit in a house on social media all day? I'm going to go ahead and talk about social media too. Social media is really the main problem. That was wrong with people today. Social media is evolving. It is. And people are evolving on social media. The only thing you're doing is updating your profile pics. That's it. Ain't nobody really trying to just go on social media just to like, really, it's actual people actually trying to do something, but most people really ain't doing shit but just looking on there. Or really trying to find the best place to eat at. Or really trying to find the best place to go, you know, shit, go kick it or have a good time at. You know what I'm saying? Or really just trying to post selfies or some shit like that. Really, people just on social media for attention. You know, ain't no wrong with keeping on family and friends or just trying to start something or just trying to build something on social media. But goddamn, at the end of the day, you know, you got to go ahead and just, hey, use something to make yourself valuable. How much your how much your your life ain't worth shit to you? Your life is worth everything you go through. That's growth. Anytime you feel like quitting, 
your life is worth worth everything you go through. That's your life. You don't give you don't give a damn about your life. That's why it's, I don't even complain about life. It, I don't give a shit what I go through. Cause at the end of the day, once I hit it, once it hit me, the healing the healing gonna start. But I would just take it with a grain of salt. You know, ain't no, you gotta take life serious, but don't take it to the heart. Don't take everything to the heart. See, a lot of people take shit to the heart, and life has knocked a lot of people out. And people don't get back up from life because they're so sick and tired that they be like, man, fuck this shit. I'm tired of being stressed. When some people get sick and tired of being sick and tired, they don't, they just go into like a, they close, they close themselves off, and that's not, they isolate themselves for a bad reason. They don't isolate themselves to, you know, get better. They isolate themselves from the world because they feel like dying. They feel like they don't give a shit no more. People are really going through shit, you know what I'm saying, because of they trying to grow and they don't know how to grow. But then when pressure, I mean, when pressure applies, they are too sensitive to grow. Some people are, some of y'all are too sensitive to grow. If you you gotta have thick skin to grow. That's how your skin get thick when it grows. You know what I'm saying? When you, the most shit you go through, the thicker your skin gonna be. So if you're in your feelings about life, I'm gonna tell you the key element to growth is being uncomfortable. The key element to growth is being uncomfortable, applying pressure. That's what it is. So if you feel like you can't make it, you make it. When you feel like you ain't making it and you really trying to struggle to make it, you really are making it. That's what it takes. You just gotta fight through that barrier. To get to the other side. Sometimes it's just like when I be talking about fear. When you, once you fight through that barrier of fear. Will Smith has said it a lot too. He said once he fought through the barrier. The barrier of fear. When he bungee jumped. But once he jumped out the damn plane. He didn't feel the fear no more. It was like a, like a peaceful bliss. Something you know how Will Smith be talking. You know what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> Shit like that. But. And. It's like you can't. You can't just be, you're, you're not going to have it easy. You know what I'm saying? Don't expect nothing to be easy. It's going to be hard because you're going to get punished. You're going to get your ass. Life going to whoop your ass until you stand up. So you might as well just go ahead and embrace, the, embrace that pressure. But that's what's going to make you fucking grow. That is growth. When you embrace that pressure. Embrace, like when you're going through trials and tribulations, everything, that's a part of growth. All the hell you're going through, that's growth. Everything you're complaining about, that's growth. The things that you think is bullshit is growth. And the thing that you think like, God damn, why is this happening in my life? That's growth. I don't know what area it is. I don't know what area in your life needs to be growing, but that's growth. Like like when, uh, like, you know, it's a lot of single mothers out here. Okay, it was a lot of, you know, teens getting pregnant back in the days and stuff like that, right? Okay, like when a teen get pregnant, they get, you know, nervous. You know why? Because now they're about to have a kid. They scared. They don't know how to raise the kid. They don't even have a job. Now that, and then they got to think about what their parents going to think. Then they got to think about how everybody in the school going to think. It's a lot of girls that have been embarrassed in school because they were pregnant. Thinking their mama going to kill them. Their daddy going to kill them and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And then when their parents find out, they gonna, some parents do be frustrated. They'll click or they'll go off. They ain't going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Of course they love the child. But once you get to raising that child, once you once that child is born... And you get to raising that child, that child is going to completely change your life. And by the time that child grow up, I see it every day. I see it on Facebook. They're always posting, this child, my child is the reason I'm alive. Because you know what? That child applied pressure to that woman's life and that woman grew by raising that child. That woman, If that child hadn't been born, that woman probably would have went down a hell of a path. But by her being a single mother, it grew her. Into the woman she's there today. I ain't saying she's a bad. I'm just saying. It, it probably grew her. You know what I'm saying? It's just like men. There's some single fathers out there. You know what I'm saying? Like when the baby mama be applying pressure. Be applying pressure to y'all and all that bullshit. Hey. I don't know what area of growth that is. I know it's some bullshit. But every obstacle and bullshit that we have in our life. That's complete fuckery. Is growth in some area. I don't know what it is. I don't know how this universe works. But I'm going to tell you what. This universe been here way before us. Way before us. I'm not no rocket scientist. I'm t I am not no, I don't know all, I don't know every goddamn thing. I look for advice too. We all can learn something. But this universe was here before us. They have storms, tornadoes, hurricanes, 
We're going through a hurricane right now. Hurricane Laura. Yeah. That's pressure. That's a storm. When the storm come, it knock down trees and tear up shit. That's pressure. But once it fight through that storm, grass growing, sunny. It's a beautiful day. That's what pressure do. So, hey, when life hits your ass, I'm telling you, growth, you're going to have to be uncomfortable. You're going to have to be. You got to be uncomfortable. You have to go through a lot of shit. That's growth. Everything that hurts you and bothers you, it's all a part of the plan. It's all a part of growth. It's all it is. The most important element to growth is pressure. You got to have pressure. So you just got to look at it like that. Look at it. The most shit you're going through, if it's stressing you out, trust me, it's building you. It's pressure. That's growth. Whatever you're going through is pressure right now. It's just applying you, it's training you, it's molding you to who you need to be. You don't know who you're becoming. You might not know who you are. There's a lot of people walking around right now that don't know who the fuck they are. But once they go through a, a whole bunch of hard times, hardships, go through a whole bunch of hell, you'll start realizing who you are piece by piece, what you're made of piece by piece. Why am I going through this? Why am I going through this? How am I taking this? How am I taking that? You discovering yourself through the pressure and through the pains of life. That's growth. So let that let that pressure apply. You got to look at it. Let that pressure apply. I mean, apply. You know what I'm saying? The reason I talk about Will Smith so much, people call him, you know, he's a good dude. You know what I'm saying? People call him gay or whatever, but at the end of the day, he, he's an intelligent man. You know what I'm saying? The guy said, shit, if life give you, you know what I'm saying, a hundred reasons to cry, hey, find a thousand reasons to smile. I mean, I mean, come on. That's a fucking gold nugget to me. I don't give a fuck what anybody tell you. But the more pressure kicks you in your ass, and you're really growing through that. You you are really growing through pressure. So don't complain about your troubles. Don't, compl don't complain about your trials and tribulations. Now, some things, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I understand it's going to hurt. It's going to bother you. It's going to be like a low blow. But in some area in our life, the way, the way this world been working... If you just look around you, everything that had pressure applied to it, some came out of it. So that's the key element to growth is pressure. Being uncomfortable. Once that pressure hit, it's a movement right there. Something You about to get something up out of that. You about to come out of something. You know what I'm saying? You about to come out on top of something. Something is burning inside you. Because you're stressed, you're depressed. Something it's getting strong. Sometimes the instinct gets strong. It's just like you can go through so much shit and after a while it hurts no more. It don't hurt. It don't phase you no more because you done got stronger. That's why some people be like, you know, I don't even give a shit no more. Like, you can be like, I'm going to say like uh, best friends or relationships, anything. One person can cheat on this person all day. And this person, gonna, this person getting cheated on they crying their eyes out. They hurt. They feelings hurt and all this shit. Why is he doing this to me? Or why is she doing this to me? And then after a while, he's going to say, you know what? I don't need to take this. I can go somewhere else. I can go get somebody else. You know, I can respect myself. I don't, I don't have to take this abuse. I don't have to take this. I'm going to leave. Because you didn't gather up the strength to leave. At first, you couldn't leave. Because you was afraid of losing that person. But once you grew once that pressure applied, you done grew to find out that it's more than one person out here. So that's all, you know what I'm saying? That's the element to growth is pressure. That's what pressure do. That's what storms do. So whenever you're going through something, you just elevate to another level. Another level, new level, new devil, it's real shit. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing y'all. Be cool.